Developing National Ecological Fiscal Transfer (TANE) in Indonesia. Indonesia is known throughout the world for its wealth of forest, coastal, and maritime resources, which contains strategically valuable biological diversity. Indonesia's forests not only function as the lungs of the world by absorbing carbon emissions, but also serve as a protection zone for many species of medicinal plants and help to prevent natural disasters such as floods and drought. Meanwhile, the mangrove areas along Indonesia's coast act as the best line of defense against abrasion and habitat for shrimps, crabs, and certain species of fish. Indonesia's seas are home to wide varieties of fish, marine mammal, and mollusks. Yet our forest, coastal, and marine resources are often seen merely as sources of short-term economic gain, so they suffer excessive exploitation, leading to a shortage of forest cover and causing environmental damage in coastal and maritime areas. This situation demands serious effort from all levels of government to address these problems. The paradigm of pursuing short-term economic gains by exhausting natural resources and sacrificing ecological stability must be changed to sustainable development. One aspect of this is the need for the central government to provide a scheme of budget incentive to subnational governments with good performance in managing the environment and protecting forests and seas in the line with their authority. Currently, 38 national and local civil society organizations have established a civil society coalition for environmental protection financing. The coalition has formulated and advocated various options for operationalization of the National Ecological Fiscal Transfer, referred to as TANE. It is a scheme for granting fiscal incentives from the national to subnational governments based on the latter's commitment and performance in protecting forests, seas, and the environment. The TANE concept may also include a compensation scheme for regions with large protected areas, either land or marine, that can be considered as creating opportunity cost for the region's economic development. The Civil Society Coalition promotes adoption of TANE through existing intergovernmental fiscal transfer mechanisms, Regional Incentive Funds or DID and Spatial Allocation Funds or DAK for the Environmental and Forestry Sectors and Environmental Protection Funds or DPL. Among various indicators of DID, currently only waste management represents the subnational government performance in the environmental sector that is used to provide additional fiscal incentive. The coalition proposes to include other indicators such as enactment of local policies and proportion of budget for environmental protection to be added to DID formula to create incentive for the subnational governments. Similarly, the coalition also proposes to include performance indicators in protecting the environment as additional criteria for the subnational governments to receive DAK. Responding the Minister of Finance statement in August 2019 that the government is preparing a new fiscal transfer scheme named Environmental Protection Funds or DPL, the Civil Society Coalition prepared a concept to operationalize DPL through regional grant scheme. The DPL grant scheme include a performance component to incentivize provincial governments based on their performance measured by the Environmental Quality Index or IKLH scores and the changes of the index. The scheme also includes a compensation component that is calculated based on the proportion of protected land and marine areas to the total areas of each province. All of these indicators are using existing data collected by the national government. For each of the TANE scheme proposed, the Civil Society Coalition generates transparent TANE index that show relative performance of each province or district compared to others based on publicly available data. This will increase accountability of the government in determining the TANE allocation for each province or district that is susceptible to corruption. The utilization of TANI funds by the recipients will depend on the mechanism adopted. In the case of DID, the subnational governments have full discretion of the fund utilization, while in the case of DAK, 
the funds can only be used for specific purposes. The coalition proposes to allow utilization of the DPL grants for sustainable development in general, including for social, economic, and environmental objectives. TANEC concept is expected to complement other ecological fiscal transfer schemes that have already adopted at the subnational level. The provincial government of North Kalimantan has already issued a regulation on provincial ecological fiscal transfer or TAPE that provides fiscal incentives for the district performing well in protecting their environment. The district governments of Jayapura, Nunukan, and Kuburaya have already enacted district ecological fiscal transfer or TAKE to financially reward good performing villages. TANE will make Indonesia as the first country in the world to have a comprehensive ecological fiscal transfer schemes from national down to village level. The Civil Society Coalition for Environmental Protection Financing is more than happy to discuss these ideas with government officials, parliamentarians, and other stakeholders to bring them into reality as one effort to better protect Indonesian forests, seas, and the environment. For more information, contact Laude Roy Salam, Indonesia Budget Center, IBC, Laude underscore Roy at yahoo.com, and Bejo Untung Patiro, Bejo at patiro.org.